The first semi-final took place today at the Amahoro Stadium in Kigali, which saw the leopards of the Democratic Republic of Congo clash with the national Sili of Guinea. The game was played at a frantic pace, but both sides failed to breach their opponent's defence, sending the two teams into extra time. The long-awaited goal finally came, and it was Florian Benge's men who finally snapped the silence in the 103rd minute, Bolingi's diving header from Luvidisu's cross, sending the DRC fans into a frenzy. Seconds before the final whistle, Guinea saved their skin when Ibrahima Sankon stunned the Leopards with a last gasp shot, which whistled past DRC keeper Le Matampi. What a turnaround. Matampi's final save and the sudden death of penalty sending the Leopards into the final, beating Guinea 5-4. Now we know the first finalists will face either the Côte d'Ivoire or Mali. DRC now just one win away from winning their second Chan after their successful run in the first edition in 2009. The consolation for Guinea is a chance of winning the bronze medal in their first ever appearance at the Chan here in Rwanda. Guinea are called the Brazilians of Africa, so we can't let them play. That's why we need to master the game with the players we have. We carelessly conceded a goal in extra time, unfortunately, but finally, it ended well. We're facing a great footballing nation, a great team. We know about these matches between Mali and Côte d'Ivoire. They always go in favour of the Côte d'Ivoire. It's the same old story. Mali play the football and at the end Côte d'Ivoire win. So we really need to be focused, keep our feet on the ground and enter the game with plenty of concentration. With a valiant heart, anything is possible. I'd really like to give credit to the work that Mali have achieved in whichever competition they play in, whether it's the youth category, under 17s, under 20s, and also here at this Chan for the quarterfinals. The country has a huge potential. Malians always have good teams with good fighting spirit. This Malian team is quite young but boasts many qualities.